what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here hit the subscribe first time watching like the video hope you enjoy and find this video helpful for those of you who have a bmw i8 know this car is a headache to bleed this car has a very complex hybrid system has multiple radiators has tubes that run all along to the engine here engine to the back very long a lot of a lot, big uh cooling system so for those of you who have trouble bleeding this system i found a way to bleed this system uh bmw recommends you bleed this system with a vacuum filler i have the vacuum filler in here i was having so much trouble filling this system for some reason it kept sucking up air i would hook up the vacuum filler up to the coolant bottle here and for some reason i couldn't get i couldn't get a vacuum going on the system no leaks in the system it's just a lot of cooling just kept sucking back up into the machine i was getting frustrated so i started exploring different options um so the f f option that really helped me bleed this system was just put it up on a jack make sure the front end is um, lifted up the ground make sure the bottle is the highest point on the cooling system from there you want to fill it with coolant you want to open up this bleed screw here right next to the cap this is going to allow air that is trapped in the system bleed out so i would leave that open it might make a mess but it was really the only option i had um it might make it's gonna make a mess so make sure you have pans on the air car there it's going to make a mess but it is worth it and you don't have to deal with this headache of a system here so you just have to turn the vehicle on let the vehicle do its thing run get hot um while you do that you're gonna want to massage this oh shit it's hot <laughs> don't touch it when it's hot but you're going to massage this heat these both of these coolant hoses here just keep pressing press them in and out sorry about that but yeah press these hoses in and out like this you will see air coming out of this little hole there the bleeder screw there I just keep doing that until no air comes out. It's uh, it's not the easiest. Once I would I would recommend you guys monitor the temperature as well on the vehicle. Use a scan tool for this. Make sure um, the temperature doesn't go above 230. Once it starts getting around there, I will turn it off. Let it cool down. Let the let the coolant suck all back into the engine. And yeah, that, that is the uh, best way. Well, not the best way, because I wish the vacuum filler was the best. It was working for me. That would be a lot quicker and easier. But if you're struggling to fill the system, try this way. Um, it's worth it. You're going to have no headaches. Make sure you monitor the cooling temperature. Does it, make sure it doesn't get above 230 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is Celsius. But, yeah, guys, I hope this helped. If this helped in any way shape or form please leave a like and please consider you subscribing to my youtube channel here where i post a bunch of tutorials and different stuff in my daily life but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and thank you very much see you guys in the next